In just two seasons, The Orville has already become one of the best utopian sci-fi shows ever made, and it's had some help along the way with some incredible directors. John Favreau, Robert Duncan McNeil, Brandon Braga, Rebecca Rodriguez, and of course, Jonathan Frakes, who has not been invited back for season three, you guys, and I know why. And you know what, it's a really nice day outside, and by nice day, I mean it's not too hot and it's cloudy. Perfect for a chubby guy like me. Let's go outside. Car! <coughs> oh, I fell on my keys. Hey gang, I'm J- Damn it. Hold on. Oh, jeez. Hey gang, I'm JP and welcome back to Egotastic Fun Time. So today we're gonna have a great time talking about season three of The Orville, which we've been waiting a long time for. We waited a long time for season two. We waited a very long time for season two to get renewed. And now we've been waiting a long time for season three, but Rest assured, they've been filming, they were filming the show for many, 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 many months for season three. They started in October. Uh, they made it all the way to March before Hollywood was completely shut down. And they were shut down right in the middle of filming an episode. So they have about five and a half, six and a half episodes filmed of the 11 that we're going to be getting in season three, you guys, on Hulu. Uh, and Seth MacFarlane says that it's gonna be weird uh, when they come back because one of the episodes is you know has a couple months between filming so everyone's gonna come back you know they've gained weight they've gotten gray hair all this stuff right in the middle of an episode uh, um, I bet you they recover okay and we've had some great directors over the last two seasons from the Star Trek universe Robert Duncan McNeil which of course uh, he played uh, Paris in Voyager we had Brandon Braga who's a big deal with 90s Trek he's also written some wonderful episodes for the Orville as well as being an executive producer oh boy and of course number one himself Jonathan Frakes has directed two amazing episodes season one episode five Priya with Charlize Theron uh, which was a big deal. Not only did uh, that episode get huge ratings because of Charlize Theron, a lot of people were introduced to the Orville with that episode, but also in the episode Sanctuary in season two, which uh, follows up on Havina and uh, Mockless and some weird shiz that's going on on Mockless. And I'm hoping in season three, we just blow the lid off of what's been going on with the Mocklins and Mockless and their whole, you know, uh, boys rule, girls drool. Oh my God, it's so hot in here, you guys. I gotta roll down the windows. I'm sorry if this messes with uh, the audio because there's cars driving by. I have no idea if it will because I'm using my Rode microphone right now. Oh well, because I'm burning up in here and I have no idea how long I'm gonna be talking for because that's my jam. I just talk and talk and talk. I may go on for 30 minutes, edit it down to 10 minutes, but I still might go on for 30 minutes. It's happened most of the times that I've recorded in this car. No doubt it's been amazing having someone that just knows Star Trek so well, how to film Star Trek, how to direct Star Trek, the, the vibe, everything it's supposed to be, uh, having Jonathan Frakes direct, he has not been invited back for season three. And the reason that's the case is because for season three of the Orville with their move to Hulu and with a lot to prove, having having moved uh, uh, you know from from regular television prime the dying television format to the new streaming format you know with a bigger budget this is gonna be the biggest season of the Orville yet every episode is going to be a mini movie it's gonna be high quality just like up to that standard with the identity saga from season two with all the pew pews and the explosions and the big story elements and the surprises uh, we're gonna be getting that in season three every single episode they have such a, you know, strong idea of what they want season three to be. Seth MacFarlane doesn't want to compromise that vision in any way by inviting other directors onto the set. Every time you bring a director on, you have to say, okay, this is what we're doing. The This is the universe that we're trying to portray. This is how it's supposed to feel. This is supposed, how it's supposed to be. Here's the episode that we're filming. We would really like it to be this way. Go do your best. Well, oh, please don't mess up. And of course, Jonathan Frakes isn't gonna mess up, but they specifically did not ask, not only Jonathan Frakes, they did not ask anybody 
to direct season three. Seth MacFarlane and executive producer John Kassar, who not only, uh, you know, he first came on in season one, he directed the Krill episode. He also directed both Identity episodes. When the Identity episodes were written, Seth MacFarlane specifically said, I will only allow John Kassar to direct these episodes. No one else is allowed. No one else has the capabilities to direct uh, big episodes like this, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so they invited nobody to direct. Seth MacFarlane, who directs half the episodes anyway, Seth MacFarlane and John Kassar are the only two people allowed to direct season three they want that vision solid they want it tight they want it efficient and with so many big episodes uh, Seth only trusts John Kassar to do that because John Kassar has has proven himself but also he's a big deal in big to do uh, television productions. He's the executive producer on 24. He directed all those, you know, so much of uh, 24 to make 24 to be, uh, you know, that big uh, success that it was among people that watch that sort of thing. Not me, but other people absolutely loved it. And plus, Kiefer Sutherland, come on. Kiefer Sutherland will always be my lost boy. Okay, I can roll the windows back up just for a little bit. We'll see how far I get before I have to roll them back down again. Ugh. So it is official. Jonathan Frakes said himself that he is not directing because no one is directing except for Seth MacFarlane and John Kassar. He is bummed out because he loves working on the show. Uh, he understands the show. He's a fan of the show, but he says he would love to return to the show to be in front of the camera, to be a character, to hopefully play an alien. Now Jonathan Frakes is back into the acting world thanks to Star Trek Picard. Jonathan said he would love to come on the show as an alien character which I am all for but I do expect him if he hasn't already visited the set during season three filming I'm sure he will do so because he is a friend of the show um, I know people on the show are bummed to not work with him this season but hey pay a visit and say hello for us Jonathan because if you are on the set we're gonna feel it we're gonna know you hey what's up buddy hey no I'm busy no hi yeah, I don't, yeah, so I don't have any, I'm a YouTuber, so I don't have any money. Man, it sucks, and I feel bad that I can't give money to homeless people or just people that are asking for money because you never know. Uh, some of them are obviously homeless, and it sucks because, you know, there's homeless people that obviously have mental issues, and we as a society are not taking care of them. Um, I, I, I've been touched personally by uh, mental illness in my family, hardcore. I get asked five, six times a day. I can't give to everybody, so it's like, sometimes I'm like, sorry, I already gave money to the the previous four people today. There's just too many. I'm one person. Yeah, but we definitely need to keep the windows rolled down. Hopefully nobody else shows up. I remember back in the day, not that long ago, I don't know what's changed in society. I don't know if it's the internet or whatever it is when it comes to entertainment. I remember watching whatever show, Star Trek, uh, Eureka, Lost, uh, Roseanne, whatever show it is, I remember not giving a damn who was directing. I don't know why it matters nowadays with these shows about who's directing uh, an episode of what. Just put out the show. We'll watch the show and we'll enjoy the show or we won't enjoy the show. I don't, I, I, I used to not care about who was directing and now I'm like, oh God, jo Jonathan Frakes, Jay Frey is, is directing this season. It's gonna be great. I don't know. Well, I don't know why I care. I don't care who's producing a show. I don't care who's directing a show. I don't care who wrote a show. That stuff didn't used to matter. What it used to matter was just the show. So how about you? Do you think you're gonna miss the fact that Jonathan Frakes is not directing this season on The Orville? Does it matter to you? Are you just excited for more episodes of The Orville like I am? I'm looking forward to go off into the 25th century with the best damn crew and the best damn ship and the best damn union in the galaxy. Uh, let's just go do some shiz up in space, you guys, with some awesome people. You can let me know what you think by joining the conversation below. Click on all the stuff. Help support the channel. We're going to be taking over the world here, egotastic, fun time style. Um, <laughs> I'll see you very soon. And as always, I hope all your times are egotastic fun times. Love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>